ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wrestling fans of all ages. Hello, and welcome to the new YouTube and Twitch channels of Project Revolution Wrestling Underground. I am your host, the lovely Miss Ariana Jefferson. This is your source for the latest on all your PRW news, shows, and interviews. On this episode of PRW Underground, we'll see Rashad King, the PRW Heavyweight Champion, go down to the ring to address the PRW viewing audience. But first, our very own Benji sat down for a fairly contentious interview with the champ earlier. What alongside the current PRW Women's Champion, Jay Renee, for another installment of The Benjamin Report. Let's watch. My name is Benjamin, and this is The Benjamin Report. Here, I have the honor of speaking with Rashad King. Okay, pause. Hold on. I got this. This right here, the king. I hope wherever you are at home watching this, you guys are showing him the respect that you guys would be giving him if y'all were here. Pay attention. The greatest undisputed PRW heavyweight champion, Rashad King. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I got you. Thank you. What do you want? I want to know about you, man. How does it feel to be the undisputed? Wait, wait, wait. We cut you off right there. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you want to know something about me? Don't you see this? This is all you people have to know. This is all you people have to know. Is that I'm the PRW undisputed champion of the world. Of, of Earth, I'm, I'm I'm the champion. Even though I'm bigger than the world, but you know what I'm saying. I'm bigger. I'm bigger than this championship, honestly. But seeing as though I'm the only person in this company that's deserving of this, I have it. You know, no one's on my level. No one has ever been on my level. And, and you're not even on my level. I can't. I need. I need somebody like a good interview, like uh uh uh. What was it, like Bruce Pritchard or some somebody? Somebody is better than you. You, you suck. <laughs> I suck. Yeah, you suck. You suck. Right, you, got, you, got the, you got the you got the PRW undisputed champion of the world sitting here, and you have the PRW women's champion sitting right here, Longest and you don't even have any good questions. Champion. Longest reign, by the way. I have a good question. I was watching your match last week, and it seemed you always need Jay Renee to win your matches. Ooh. First of all, sir, Paul, sir, he does that by himself. Sir. I never help him. Okay, never. all right. Look, just because you don't have a woman. Just because you don't have a woman that supports your dreams, okay, you don't have to bash me. Because I have a woman that takes care of me and loves me and supports me. She's just out there for support. I beat, uh, uh, what's his name, Xavier Cross. I beat him on my own, nice. all by myself. Mm -hmm. And y'all mad about it. See, look, look, look. I'm not a paper champ at all, by far. Look, let me tell you, let me, hey, world, world, look, listen. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, cool, zoom in, listen. I am the greatest PRW champion of all time, and let me tell you why. I defeated a WWE Hall of Fame. That's something no one else has done. And you know what? You're sitting here, you're sitting next to royalty, and you're disrespecting us. And you know you have to stoop a little smirk on your face, just smiling and stuff. I almost have the mind to smack the other arm off your glass, right off your face. Right off your face. Really? Yeah, yeah, really. Really? Because you, you're sitting here, you're disrespecting us. You're saying that I need my woman to win. I don't need to win. This is proof right here that I'm the best. Where's your championship? Where's your... They don't have like an interview awards they can give, they can give you, huh? No. Nope. Um, I'm those. pretty sure they do. It's just that you don't have one because you suck. No one's on my level. Nobody, man. Mm -hmm. Nobody's on our level. Mm -hmm. That's why we are the greatest champions in the world. And there's nothing nobody can do about it. And that's just what makes us... Savages. <laughs> well, rumors is, Shot Town T got a special surprise for you. This is always got a surprise. Well, let me guess. He finally learned how to read and write his own contract. Cause we got him good. On the we got him good. Right now. We got him good. I had a good vacation, boy. <laughs> What's funny? Uh, What's yeah, what, are you, what are you laughing at? Nah, I'm sorry. Did I make a joke? But that joke wasn't for you. Just don't laugh. Not for me. No, it was, no. It, was, it was an inside joke between me and my queen. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we'll see. We'll be laughing next week. The next what? match. What's the what you say you got a surprise? What, what is it? I don't know. What do you mean you don't so you just know you sitting down spent you just he's trying to get a rise out of me. Right. You, know, you know what? Look. Alright, it was a nice hat. No, you don't get to shake my head, Benji! This is what I'm talking about. You just sitting here and you just gonna disrespect me and then and then you sit here and you tell me Shot T has a surprise for me, you're gonna sit there and try to shake my hand? 
I'm the current WWE champion of the world, and I'm tired of this disrespect. This is what I'm talking about. I'm a champion of this company. Shantel T should be telling me what I have in store next week. I'm the champion. This is the best championship in this business. And it's, it's better than the North American championship. It's better than that stupid tag team championship that I won by myself because I'm the only true ruler of wrestling. And you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm just tired of it. I am tired. I'm the top tier champion. I should be getting treated like the top tier champion. And that's why he made a North American championship because he knew damn well that there's nobody in this building and in this company that can take this away from me. And now I'm done with you because you're ruined it. And now your ratings are gonna drop because guess what? The royalty is leaving. The king and queen are out of here. Bye. Let's go, babe. We go. Smell like that. My name is Benjamin, and this is the Benjamin Report. Wow. So, the PRW champ, not exactly going easy on poor Benji. But then again, Rashad King has never really been known as the easiest of individuals to talk to. Certainly all that passion may be part of what has helped him stay PRW champ for so long now. But it appears that the owner of PRW, Shy town T, has a surprise in store for Rashad that may very well put that streak to an end. Let's go to the ring for more.
All right. You heard it right here, folks. Not only is Rashad King going to face Abel Summers this episode, but they are going to face each other one-on-one for the PRW Heavyweight Championship. Now, King and Summers have had quite a storied rivalry going on for some time now. This could be the match to end it once and for all. And with Jay Renee, the champion's partner in crime, banned from ringside, there should be nothing to stop these two warriors from slugging it out without interference for a clear 1-2-3 winner. And who knows? Perhaps a new PRW champion will be crowned. Or will Rashad King prove that he is indeed the king of PRW and retain his title? There's only one way to find out, so let's watch. Champ 
out there rather be playing safe than sorry. You know, put that table away. A reversal is nice. Ending drop kick by the champ. Hey, uh, with that uh, turn earlier, do you think Cable's still going with the Summers? Yeah. Um, you all know we're going to change the right now. We're back with SOL. The yeah. other part of the group just became a two time. We are going to see the same for a long time. Really, the bomb and the game is going to be done. Now, as the savage one is looking to go ahead for a nice. Here we go. Two flags. Here we go. Take out by Cable. That was a two count. The referee did a smart call right there. Keeping this match right down the middle. Playing no favoritism. As the champ is bringing Cable back to his feet. Would you like to turn that snap here into a chokehold? Will Cable tap? Or would he make it to his feet? Yeah, baby, that's what I'm doing. I'm happy, baby. Alright, so the tap for the champ. Now we're going to make a nice little chuckle. And Cable is not giving up. Don't wrestle your mother every night! Yeah! Oh! 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 Rashad King's showing why he is the savage one. And we're going to be pumping himself up at the crowd and stuffing him. Shot to gut. No shot to gut. I don't think that was PG anymore. Duck. Rainmaker and big play. One, two, and a kick out by Cable. Join Art in this match. She got a confidence in her right now. His arrogance and cockiness got him to where he is today, and that is your PRW champ. Ooh, a nice chop to the chest. Y'all ready for the table? Y'all ready for the table? Ooh. 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 
Stomp that he called it. Go for the cover. Oh, the table kicked out. He kicked out the Savage Stomp. Oh my God. He is still in it. He is still in it, Sadie. What you thinking? I don't know. I, I thought that was a three, but man, that was a very close call by the ref. Indeed it was. Oh my God. It was two and point nine seconds at one point. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, yeah, yeah. the ground. What are you about to do? Chair look broken, but he's still gonna look like he's gonna go ahead and do it. Oh! He actually broke it on table. That's 
table. He's looking. And Brandon Hill! The table KO. As I would call it, the table knockout. And both competitors are down again. Hey, Gabe needs to go over there and get the pin because, geez, he, he could have had this match done for the one, two, three. He is knocked out. But what's this? It looks like he's getting up. What's going on? What's this jack super going? What is he going to do? He had a nice match in front of him. What is he going to do? Oh, looks like he's going after the champion. Oh. Steve was looking like he had a match with the champ. Oh, he's taking on Cable. Wait, 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 what is this? What is this? Oh, my God. What is this? What is this? Table to this table. Oh my god. Table is dead. Oh, why would people do that? Why? That was devastating. Brutal, just out of nowhere. Who just helped the champion? Why? People just came back to PRW just to help with shot king as he goes for the cover. Two and well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here first. Cable Summers starting out balls of fire and bringing in the table that would be the very instrument of his own destruction in this match. Summers showing a lot of heart in this contest, but Rashad King, desperate to prove that he is no paper champion, did everything he can to win. Some of his tactics may have seemed a bit underhanded, but in a no disqualification title match, literally anything goes. And with a little help from his friends, Jay Renee, and returning to the ring, Jeff Steeples, King retains his title as PRW Heavyweight Champion. All right, wrestling fans, coming up, we have a contest between John Scratch and a newcomer to the PRW ranks who promises to bring a little flair to the roster. Our very own Benjamin sat down with both competitors separately to talk about their strategy for the upcoming match. Let's see what each man has to say. Hello, my name is Benjamin. This is the Benjamin Report. We're supposed to be having Brizzy Van Buren today, but apparently... Um, I'm sorry. It's the fabulous Brizzy Van Buren. You have to say it all. Okay. We have the fabulous Brizzy Van Buren here today. He wasn't done, come on. You got me on here looking a mess. And this is my beautiful stylist, Red. Hello, Red. How are you doing? Stop talk. Okay, well now, you see, uh, this is your newcomer here, and you have your first match on the 12th. How do you feel about that? Mm, do I look bothered, or impressed, or worried, or concerned? No. You know, I don't even know who's against. I just came here to do it. So, that's what I'm going to do. Get right here. Well, you seem pretty arrogant. And your opponent happens to be John Scrunch. And he's been doing this for a while now. I don't think it's going to be an easy match for you. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Everything's easy to me. It comes naturally. Okay. Okay, well... Uh, this is the fabulous Brizzy Brand Buren, and my name is Benjamin, and this is the Benjamin Report. Well, so that is the fabulous Breezy Van Buren sitting down with our own Benjamin Branch. Breezy not very intimidated by being new to the roster or by Scratch's experience. Call it arrogance or call it confidence, but Scratch may very well have his work cut out for him with such an unorthodox opponent. Let's see what John Scratch has to say. My name is Ben, and this is the Benjamin Report. Here with me is John Swartz. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. I'm so excited. Been in PRW for about one year now, but the journey is just beginning. That's good to hear. I hear you're going to run this for the North American title. I am. I mean, since 
Chi-Town Team created that title, my focus is to go for that belt. And seeing Sean McLeod defeating the Sheep got me really focused. So I'm hopefully I become number one contender. Okay. Well, but first, for Elijah Van Bosch next week, Mr. Newcomer, he's pretty weird. His name is Breezy Van Buren. I heard of that name, Breezy Van Buren. Is the nickname Fabulous? You know, F A B O L O U S? I guess. Well, it doesn't matter. Everybody knows who I am. So if you're a rookie, strange guy, veteran, doesn't matter. My motto is go hard or go home. And I always want to go hard in that ring. So you can be prepared next week. Okay, John Strutch, relaxed, humble, focused, and unfazed by the fabulousness of his opponent. And with aspirations of being number one contender for the North American Championship, there's no telling how far he'll go. You know, I can't think of two PRW members being two greater opposites from each other. I can't wait to see what happens when they get in the ring together. Let's go down and find out. Well, we got John Strutch versus the fabulous Van Buren. What do you think, uh, Benji? What do you think is going to win? I think Ben has a great chance to win. John has a great chance to win. Well, we got the uh, G general manager up here. The amazing, beautiful Simmery. How are you doing this evening? Better than ever, Scotty. So, yes, I put this match together, John Scratch against the fabulous Breezy Van Buren. Well, it seems to me that Breezy is grabbing a little bit more of John. I would feel uncomfortable if I was in his position right now. Very. If I was in John's position right now, I'd be uncomfortable myself. He's troubling right now. He don't know what to think of uh, Breezy over here. I don't know if this is a man or a woman. Yeah, <laughs> 
right now going for a nice little body splash. Fabulously done. Submission hold. No, no. So, Sid, do you ever see yourself in the match with uh, Breezy? Well, like I said, I'll challenge anybody, I accept any competition whatsoever. Not just women, I can even challenge a man. So, in other words, yeah, I, I can see myself in the ring with Breezy. I'll tell you this, both of them are knocked down. Oh. Trying to get up to their feet. John's getting up behind the fans. Let's see who we'll gets to their feet first. Would it be Breezy or would it be John? Stretch. Oh. No, wait, I got my off shirt. Never mind. Both competitors are up. I'm going to go straight. Uh, uh. The exchange is blown. Oh, whoa, what a smack by Breezy. Well, it looks like John uh, got a little heated exchange after that one slap right there. between the laid-back but more experienced competitor and a very sure of himself with a brand new one, the results speak for themselves. Up-and-comer John Scratch managed to secure a win against the newcomer, fabulous Breezy Van Buren. But let's not forget that it was Breezy's very first match in PRW after all. And his unconventional style did manage to unnerve his opponent and gain him an advantage in this match more than once. Is this a sign of things to come? Maybe. And what about our PRW champ? His former six-man tag partner returns after hiatus to help him retain his title. 
But will Jeff Steeples be content to see that gold stay on his friend's waist? Or is he going to want to see how it looks around his own sometime soon? And is this the end of the fabled Cable and King rivalry? Or just another chapter? There's only one way to find out. And that is to stay tuned for more episodes on our Twitch and YouTube channels. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Project Revolution Wrestling Underground. This is your host, the lovely Miss Arianna Jefferson, Say, see you next time, and thank you for watching and for being a part of the revolution. Goodbye, everyone.